what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support, you guys. Really appreciate it. I made a video recently about some of the things I wish I had known that first year of playing guitar but didn't. Now I understand. Now we have YouTube and we have all these you know, different methods of learning. Uh, but there were just some simple things that uh, I wish I could go back in time and tell myself. And the last video was uh, very popular, and you guys suggested I do another one. And uh, I even asked a lot of people through my social media some of the some of their things they wish they had known their first year. And there was a lot of uh, comments about bar chords. And I totally get it. That first year of playing guitar, bar chords uh, can be intimidating, a little difficult. They take you know an extra amount of strength. It's kind of the next thing you learn after you've been strumming a while. The number one I think uh, the number one thing I want to say about it is to not avoid them. Avoiding them, you'll never get better at them. So in other words, what I recommend is playing a song that has like one bar chord and just going through it, even if it sounds totally horrible, now you're embracing it as opposed to avoiding it, which you will never improve. Uh, we're going to zoom in. I'm going to show you just some basic bar chord uh, tips, you know, things that I've talked about before, but, you know, talk about again. And I think uh, they're as relevant as ever. But yeah, the number one thing is uh, they were hard for everybody, so you just got to tackle them. Even if they sound crappy, play through it as they sound crappy, and that's how they get better. All right, let's zoom in. All right, so bar chord tips. I've given a lot of these tips in other videos, but I'm going to go over it again because it really works. And it's nice to have progressions that just have one bar chord in them. So the first progression I'm going to pick out, you know, it's just an example, is a little piece of Life by the Drop by Stevie Ray Vaughan. It's an F sharp minor bar chord. And then a D7 or a D. And then an E7. So, one tip is to take your fretting hand and put your elbow in towards your rib cage. So if my elbow's out like this, look at what happens to my hand when I move my elbow in. Boom. We want to be able to get our fingers more parallel with the frets, not slanted. So that's going to help. The other thing is, so that F sharp minor chord, I'm barring that second fret and then making an E minor looking shape as if my finger was the capo. Okay, so the elbow's in, I'm pressing down there, and then I've got this E minor shape. So when it comes to these minor shapes, or this one in particular, you can take your middle finger and press it up against your index finger for extra strength. And what I said earlier, too, is the most important thing is to play the progression with the bar chord in it and not worry about the bar chord being perfect. Even if it's complete, uh, completely buzzing and doesn't sound right at all, what you're doing is you're not avoiding it. And everyone went through that transition. So even if you can, you know, can't even play it, you know, you've got the progression. go, you know, you just got to, you got to not avoid it. And that was uh, something I just wish I would have approached more in that first year of playing guitar. So let's go over that again. Elbows in towards the rib cage, I'm pressing down. Got my middle finger against it for strength. And, I, and I'm not worrying about it being perfect, but here's another thing to do to help you get it there as fast as possible. All right, so one time when you practice the chord, do the bar first and then the shape. And then play the chord. 
and and then whatever's not ringing out, go through each string and try and see if you can correct what was wrong. The next with and this goes for all the bar chord shapes, do the actual chord shape first, then put the bar down and practice it. Then also practice it all at once. So to recap, bar first, then the shape. Shape first, then the bar. Try to do it all at once. And then play it in a song, even if it sounds really crappy, don't avoid it. The other thing is when you do get a shape down, the muscle memory trick that I was taught a long, long time ago now is to keep the shape Take your hand off keeping the shape and then put it back down and make any adjustments you need to make. So the example I was using there was uh, Life by the Drop. F sharp minor, D7, E7. F sharp minor, D7, E7. F sharp minor, D7, E7, A. So let's take the other bar chord, uh, another bar chord shape is uh, B minor. Happens a lot as a one bar chord in a song. So this one is barred across the second fret and then an A minor looking shape. A root bar chords have A looking shapes. E root, e root bar chords have E looking shapes. So we're playing an A minor shape barred on the second fret. So elbow in towards the rib cage, press down then the shape, then the play the chord, make any adjustments that need to be made, take your hand off again. Now we're gonna do shape first, then the bar, elbow in, press down. Then we're gonna go for one where we do it all at once. Spray on the free spray. <laughs> Take the whole shape off because it's frozen, put it back on, make the adjustments. So a good progression with the B minor, this is just a example, is that a what's going on? Uh, so you can have A major. And then that B minor. solo, you know, comfortably numb uh, verses, B minor, only bar chord, then A, then G, D, E minor, back to B minor. So it's just about not avoiding them. Okay, so good luck with that. All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, you just got to go for it. Uh, also, thank you for the continued support. I uh, appreciate you subscribing here to the channel. You can leave other requests in the comments below. For instance, uh, things you wish you would learn the first year of playing that you haven't yet. Um, I guess that's it for now. We'll see you later. I gotta keep on making it. Keep making, keep making.